What's up YouTube, this is Detroit Borg, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the performance of the SSD in this 13 inch MacBook Pro versus that of the SSD in the MacBook Air. Now as you guys may be aware of, this 13 inch MacBook Pro was built to order with the optional SSD. It comes standard with an HDD or hard disk drive. The MacBook Air also comes standard with an SSD. So the question is, uh, if you build a MacBook Pro with an SSD, how does it perform against the MacBook Air? Well, I hope to answer a few of those questions in this video. Again, the advantage of having the SSD is read-write speed. So launching the OS, launching the apps, and read-writing to the, to the drive itself is much faster than a hard disk drive. But the first thing I want to do is run Xbench, which is a benchmarking software for Macs. It's free to download. I'll leave a link in the description below. I have it loaded on both computers, and what I'm going to try to do is run the test at the exact same time so you can see how much faster one is over the other, and then we can take a look at the scores. So of course the MacBook Pro was quite a bit faster, almost twice as fast as the MacBook Air. So if you look at the score for the MacBook Pro, it's 270 overall. The higher the score, the better. And what we are mostly interested in is the disk test. So we see the disk test score is 324 for the MacBook Pro. And we have some other information here, so if you want to take a look at uh, the transfer speeds, you can look at these numbers. If we go over to the MacBook Air, we can see the overall score is 121, and the overall disk test score for the MacBook Pro was 324, and for the MacBook Air, it was 235.21. So, so indeed, the MacBook Pro does have a much faster SSD than the MacBook Air. So let's go ahead and do some tests, and we should see that in the results. Now just to confirm, both these computers have the exact same configuration. In fact, the MacBook Pro is a clone of the MacBook Air, so they have the exact same software, processes, operations, etc. Now let's do the power on test. Again, both computers are configured in the exact same way. So when we turn on the MacBook Pro, the same apps loading on the MacBook Pro are also loading on the MacBook Air. So it looks like the MacBook Air was quicker than the MacBook Pro. Of course, you heard the MacBook Pro's optical drive loading. So you can see the bouncing icons on the MacBook Air. And we're already done loading the programs on the MacBook Pro. Those are still going. So again, the MacBook Pro was slower to get off the ground, but the MacBook Air took longer to load its apps. So the MacBook Pro was faster. Now let's just go ahead and wake them up. Look to be about the same. Now for my next test, we're going to import some photos into the iPhoto library. I'm basically importing photos I took of the MacBook Pro. They're the exact same photos, so we should get consistent results. All I have to do is click Import. The MacBook Pro is already ahead.
Alrighty, so obviously the MacBook Pro was substantially faster, partly because it's not necessarily the read-write speed uh, that's making the big difference here. It's the fact that they both have to process the photos, and this has a weaker processor. So this is where both the processor and the SSD make a big difference. Now we're going to test iMovie. We're going to import the exact same video file on both computers. So all I have to do is click Import. So once again, the MacBook Pro was substantially faster. In fact, the MacBook Air is only halfway through the importing process. So again, this is the SSD and CPU working together uh, to work a lot faster on the MacBook Pro. And plus, the MacBook Pro has a faster SSD. All right, we're finished. Now let's go ahead and export the video. So you can see here that the MacBook Air is estimating 8 minutes, the MacBook Pro estimating 3 minutes. So the MacBook Pro has finished exporting the movie and the MacBook Air still has 5 minutes to go. Once again, the MacBook Pro more than doubled the speed of the MacBook Air. MacBook Pro a little faster. Let's go over to iPhoto. Again, MacBook Pro faster. iMovie. Again, MacBook Pro faster. Let's go to Twitter. And Tweet Deck. MacBook Pro is much faster there. Now let's do Photoshop. Once again, the MacBook Pro has it. And lastly, let's do Word. Again, the MacBook Pro. Now for the next test, we're going to launch Call of Duty 4. So indeed, it looks like the MacBook Pro was just slightly faster than the MacBook Air. Now let's go ahead and load a game. You can see the MacBook Pro was noticeably faster there. The MacBook Air is still loading. Once again, let's launch a game. Again, the MacBook Pro is a lot faster. MacBook Air is just finishing. So as the X Bench stats uh, predicted, of course, the MacBook Pro is the better performer here. It has the faster SSD and the better processor. So not all SSD computers are created equal. Some SSDs are faster than others. And of course, the combination of a faster CPU makes a big difference. So once again, guys, this is Detroit Borg. Thanks for watching.